A force Saunders standing outside of the Florida Capitol and that effort to get Floridians home from Haiti has been a quote bureaucratic mess. That's what state officials are saying Thursday. Even so, they expect more flights in the coming days. As Haiti continues to crumble, warm embraces abundant Wednesday night. A Florida rescue flight landing in Sanford, returning 14 Floridians home. <laughs> It was the first touchdown of the state's ongoing effort to bring about 400 residents back from the beleaguered foreign nation. Up to eight more flights are planned, state officials say, but it's been slow going to date. We're trying to move the bureaucratic mess, but it, it, it's, um, it's a real thing. It is a very real thing. State Emergency Management Director Kevin Guthrie is helping coordinate the rescue flights, which he says are being hampered. <laughs> Haiti's government is splintered. There's a need to coordinate with other nations. Jurisdiction issues abound, slow paperwork, and at least one foreign official insists on only speaking with the governor before the planes fly. Guthrie said working with the federal government hasn't been much smoother. Immigration checks and diplomatic clearances slowing the process. We actually had faster success moving people from 5,000 miles away in Israel than we are 500 miles away in Haiti. It, it, it's it's a, absolutely insane. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis wasted little time bashing President Joe Biden for the delay while speaking to Fox News Thursday morning. It has been like pulling teeth to deal with some of these federal agencies. And the reality is you have an easier time getting into this country illegally than you do just to be rescued. Florida's missions coincide with federal rescue plans already underway. Authorities say the U.S. State Department is working on at least two flights to bring around 300 Americans home. It has critics questioning if Florida needs to just stand down. I mean, using state resources for what is a federal issue is just bad policy. State Rep. Ana Eskamani worries about the cost of stepping into what she sees as the federal government's domain. While she's not completely opposed to the rescue flights, state resources are also being used to interdict migrants crossing the ocean and the southern border. Florida's resources, the Democrats said, should be focused on Florida's domestic issues. And it's really important that these officials are focused on our state versus what really ends up being a political agenda by the governor to uh, try to draw a contrast to President Biden. Further fueling Eskamani's concerns, Florida's lower revenue projections compared to previous years. <laughs> Even so, the flights will continue, say state officials. One other thing we're hearing from Florida officials is that they are looking for help in their rescue efforts, not necessarily from Floridians, but from those living in the Dominican Republic, Jamaica, or Turks and Caicos. If you do and you think you can help get Floridians home, they're asking that you reach out to the Division of Emergency Management. That is the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.